Hello everyone. My name is Jaleesa Miller and this is my first installment of Painting and a Word. Now, before I got to this point, I honestly was very depressed, not knowing what to do with my gifts and my passion for God and my passion for the gifts that he's given to me. And I finally come to a point in my life where you have to just hold on to God's promises even when you feel down and weak and just out of gas we have to remember God's grace and that is what I have been running on I've been running on God's grace so today I ask you to join me for painting in a word where I will be painting and just kind of sharing just some little insights and inserts that God shares with me so as I'm unwrapping my canvas and I start to go live and I like everyone's always amazed at how I open my canvas and take my finger and I just kind of rip it open because I have nails. <laughs> but I thought about just the preparation in even getting my canvas open, preparing my paint. And I'll even show you how I just prepared my paint and setting up. You guys won't see every single thing of how I set up, but just... The preparation, God has shown me this, the preparation season is very vital and we need that season. We can't just be tossed out there. We all know what we're doing. And then it can be very quite overwhelming if you are just tossed out there. You know, God doesn't do that to us. He gives us preparation. He gives us a vision. He shows us what to do. And honestly, oftentimes, God will show us something and then we're not so sure that it was God showing us that. Or we'll see, we'll know what God's showing us to do something and we hold ourselves back because we don't want to do that. But what about if you're like me and you get to a season, to a, a place where you know that you've been preparing for such a time as this? <laughs> And you know that all things work together for the good of those who love God. You've humbled yourself before God. God has humbled you. And you know that you're in this place and you're like, God, it seems like I'm doing everything right. I'm faithful. I'm following your word. I'm in your word daily. I'm even encouraging other people along the way, although I might not be seeing this for myself. You start to lose work. Everything starts to seem like it's crumbling. And then you see people that you do look up to, like Sarah Jakes, <laughs> and you wonder <clears throat> how God, this was me last night, my actual conversation sitting in this very seat, reading her bio on womanevolved.com and I asked God, seeing where she come from, how? And God simply said to me, just start. I'm going to show you. I'm going to begin painting. God said to me to just start. And it's so simple. Just those words. Two words. To just start. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter how you feel. And in fact, that's where your faith comes in at. Because when you have no money and you figure out or you wonder how are you going to figure out getting food on the table, getting gas in your car. And if you have children, how are you going to feed your babies? So when you're in this place and everything just seems so dark and you don't know what to do, God said, just start. Because I will carry you through the storm. I will carry you and I will direct your footsteps. And by the way, I have no idea what I'm going to be painting today. 
because I'm taking the advice that God gave me just last night sitting in this very seat to just start. And it's okay if nobody watches this video because maybe this is for me. But I'm going to share it because I'm passionate about my gifts that God has given me. I'm passionate about who God is in my life. I'm passionate about sharing this with other people and just sometimes you just got to get up out yourself. You got to get up out your head because it's a battlefield. You're fighting with yourself in your mind and I'm speaking from experience just laying in the bed and I've never had a hard time at sleeping. But just laying there trying to sleep but yet having all this stuff on my mind of how am I going to do this? But then remembering God's words of saying, just start. So in any moment that I am feeling discouraged or feeling upset that things aren't working or that I'm losing clients because people are saying, Oh, well, we don't have the budget for that. And then I ask myself, well, are my prices too high? And I'm like, oh, they are not. They're actually below average. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because God's word is that your gifts will make room for you. But you can't give up. We have to keep going can't stop it's okay if you need a breather because I just did not have the energy to really do much of anything and I actually feel like I've maybe actually been more productive but really pushing myself because I just have not had the strength and I'm being totally open and honest with you guys because that's what painting in a word is it's allowing yourself to let go and relax so that you may be empty of yourself so that you may be full of Christ so as I'm painting it's relaxing me it's calming me down allowing me to be ready for what God has to say to me I encourage you if you haven't if you're just now joining you definitely are going to want to re-watch this video and just join in from the beginning and if you do want to paint anytime I do these I do have a starter package on our website that I can share in the comments after this is done but like I said before I'm not even sure what I'm painting it's <clears throat> all a part of what God showed me to just start. Everybody that we look up to, everybody that we see, no matter if they're on TV already or where they might be, what they might be doing, they had to do the same thing, and that's just start. It's almost like Nike when they say just do it. But oftentimes we're like, I don't even know what to do or what do I even do first? You become overwhelmed with all these obstacles and all these issues and all these. And sometimes it's not even bad stuff. Sometimes it's good things and you're wondering, how do I even just do it? Well, you just start. It doesn't matter what you start with. What matters is that you do start. So as I'm painting this, I actually had in mind to title this Breakthrough. I actually really, I don't know if you can see it all. Oh, you guys can see it. Okay. <laughs> but it's very vital that we allow ourselves to get out of our own head. That we allow ourselves to not be depressed. And I'm not saying that we won't get depressed, but you don't want to stay there. And even in my moments of praying and asking God what to do, because 
God, you told me to go full time in my business and what I'm doing and get this. I do not have the savings of what people say you need to have, <clears throat> excuse me, to go full time. Nor do I even have the network, at least not that I know of. <laughs> But God, he just wants us to trust him. And although nothing has completely changed, like I'm sitting in my husband's studio now using his stuff because with the donations that we did receive, he was able to get one piece for his computer that actually made the world of a difference. And so I'm able to go live on his channel the best way I can. But that goes back to the two words God gave me last night is to just start. Just start. I'm going to do me a t-shirt like that. I bought me a cameo um, earlier this year. It was an investment in my business. And so I'm going to start me a, um, a clothing line from just these different things. And I always write stuff down. And I actually haven't done any t-shirts, not like that yet, except for like my husband or whatever. And I think that's going to be my first one of Just Start. And it's okay if nobody buys the shirts because you know, it's, it's for me and I know what that is. And I've actually been praying and asking God, what, what shirt should I start with? What, can, what do I even put on the shirt? You know, sometimes we get ideas for things and we don't even know how to go about it. And I have so many questions. I have so many questions. I am God's retarded child. No, I'm kidding. I take that back. But I, when I say that, I mean that in the sense of you really don't know what you're really doing at times. It's like one moment you think you have all the answers and you're ready to go and you got this. But other moments, it's like, man, God, I just forgot everything you just showed me and told me to do. What am I doing? And so God gave me to just start last night. And it's so simple. And it's something that I can hold on to and that I can remember. It's something that I can share with you. Because I know that I'm not the only one that's out here struggling, trying to figure out how do I do this? How do I get the funding that I need to start my company? Or how do I, how do I get the funding that I need to uh, do these ideas that you've shown me, God? How do I do that? Like, for me, I know we need a place. I know we need an actual art studio. But even if we had an art studio, we need marketing. And it's like, I think about all these different things and your business or your purpose in life or whatever it may be, it may be very different from mine, but these are the things that I think about. These are the things that I wonder about is how do I get there? And instead of just ask, instead of keep on asking all those questions and wondering how do I get there? Where's the funding coming from? and thinking about all the stuff I have and don't have to do what I think I need to do. So let me tell you something. Everything we think we need to do is not what God's telling us to do. Well, God will tell us to do that very simple thing of just starting. And then as we keep on doing what we need to do, and every day, just start. You just get up. And I asked God, I said, well, what happens when I get in the middle of something? He said, well, you just start every single time. You never really finish until we go home to Christ. You're going to keep don't keep going and keep just starting every single day. No matter if all you can do is get out the bed and start, just start with brushing your teeth and combing your hair and fixing yourself some breakfast. God will show you the next thing to do of just starting next. It might be. Go sit down and just sit in silence and just ponder on God's goodness in your life for a moment. Trust me, that has been me at times. Other times, go get on your bike and go for a bike ride or something. If you have a bike, or go get in the car and go for a ride. And if you don't have gas and you can walk, you, you get your legs going. And I'm sharing all this because 
Y'all, this is what I have been dealing with and going through right now. And then God will send you so many great messages in each and every day that will help heal you, help strengthen you, help give you the, the gas, which is grace, to keep going. And I'm not sure if you all are familiar with Pastor Mike Todd, but he just finished this sermon on crazy faith. And boy, let me tell you something. What he talks about, and I think I'm going to link that too. I'm going to have to rewatch my video, all these links I'm talking about. But he talks about crazy faith, and he's sharing his testimony of how they got a $50 million new building for their church for only $10.5 million when they didn't even have that. And it came from a vision that God showed him five years ago. Y'all, y'all just don't know. The things that I know that God has given me and shown me, some stuff, like I wrote a play about five years ago. Uh, probably, yeah, about five years, four or five years ago. And just all the different things. Sorry. Um, all the different messages and things that God will bring to your attention to help you keep going. And it is running on grace. And I'll probably do another video talking about that running on grace. That's the gas that God gives us to keep going. When we have nothing else ourselves. And honestly... That's where God needs us to be. He needs us, like, I'm doing this video, first installment of painting it in a word, and this is honestly something that God has given to me, and he told me to just take my time with it. Because a lot of times, God will show me something, and I try to jump on it instantly. But when we try to jump on things instantly, and we get away from God's timing, that also brings us into a state of being overwhelmed and full of anxiety because we see a glimpse of what God has shown us and then we hop on it. We're like We get so excited and we hop on it, but God's like, not yet, hold your horses. I need you to be groomed for this first, but I'm showing you this vision so that you know why you're going through this. And I would, I would love to share some scriptures to back everything up that I'm talking about. And I can share some scriptures because anytime I listen to pastors or ministers or speakers, what have you, I always want to bring it back to the word of God. And I think I'm going to add a little gold in there now. And when you hear the word of God, just the many different stories of people in the Bible like Noah... Jesus told, or God told Noah to build that ark where nobody had ever, no rain. Like, what is that? It's like people that don't, have never seen snow before. They're like, well, what is that? But he trusted God. He obeyed God. And he did what God told him to do in the face of people talking about him, laughing at him, saying, you're crazy. But think about that in today. Like the ideas I have and the money I have, it don't look right. And I was like, God, I don't know how this is going to happen. But you know what? I'm going to trust him. And I'm praying that God will help me and you to have the faith that Noah had. Because he obeyed God. And obedience is so important. He obeyed God. And he started building and got his family involved in building. And... When he, when he was done, when it was time, that rain came. And it changed the, the face of the world. But imagine if Noah was not obedient. Imagine if he would have listened to those people that told him he was crazy. Noah today would be in the mental house. That's getting a little blurry. Noah today would be in the mental house. Because folk would be like, this man is a little bit too crazy. We don't want him running around here scaring people. 
talking about a flood is coming. But think about some people today that tell you their dreams or they ask you for help with something and you're like, well, that's absurd. That's not going to happen. The message that Pastor Mike Todd just shared from this past Sunday on Crazy Faith, I feel like he just showed that what Noah did thousands of years ago is still being done today. But we have to truly trust and obey God. And if God tells us to have that still moment to just be still, then we have to be obedient in that. We have to be trusting in that. And y'all, I'm telling you, I know it's tough. Like, I'm smiling now because I'm excited of what, like, I just started. Those are the two words God gave me just last night to just start. And... I'm excited now because I've taken God's advice and I'm acting in obedience and I did not allow today to be another one of those depressing days of wondering, what am I going to do, God? How do I get there? Because people are saying I charge too much or people are saying, well, this isn't in their budget or people are saying, well, this, that, this, that, and things are like rearranging and it's transforming. And I'm like, you know what? I have to trust you, God. Sitting here with the first installment of painting in a word. <laughs> it's not, I really hope that it's encouraging you all. But like I said before, if this moment of just starting is helping me, then I'm, I'm so grateful and thankful to God. And I really pray and hope that it's helping other people. And I'm going to, I help me. I want you, thank you, just start, yes, just start, and in any moment, just keep, just keep starting, just keep starting, like with every pain that I'm creating, I am running, y'all, not running out, I have run out of room for space for my paintings, but I, I, I'm not going to allow that to stop the creation process, because what if God is preparing me so that I have an actual huge inventory when people do start buying. I am challenging myself and you to stop questioning God and to just start. To just keep going even when it hurts. Ooh, I might get a little emotional. But to just keep going even if you have people that are close to you That are telling you, well, why don't you just get a regular job or just get a job to do this or that? And it's like, well, that's what my flesh is telling me to do. But it's not what I hear God telling me to do. And I would be just like Jonah in the beginning if I was to go and just get a job. I would be running from what I know God has told me to do. And that's to just start. To keep going. To not give up. Even if you need a breather moment. And you need to. Stand up. Shake it off. (laughs) But then you come back. And you just start again. Now when you just. Yes. Go with God. And when you. uh, When I say just start. That doesn't mean start over. That's definitely not what God is saying. It's not to start over. To just start is to pick up where you left off and just start. Start back at it. Like a lot of people in my classes, they used to love art. They tell me, oh, I used to draw. And sometimes they'll show me a picture of what they used to draw. And I would be like, man, this person don't realize how gifted they are. But what happened? I know what happens because when we get to this state, when we get to this moment in our lives of not knowing what to do, many of us quit and give up on God. Many of us do not have that know of faith to keep pushing through to the end to see what God showed us manifest. And if we could just push, I'm actually going to flip this upside down now. Because now I'm going to start bringing this this way. 
If we could just trust God and just not worry about how it looks in the physical realm, if we could just truly walk by faith and not by sight, we would really see the promises of God. We would really see how much he truly loves us. Even when things happen that you, even when things happen that you just cannot explain, I, I, through my time of going, just going through, God showed me, I have set you up to be a miracle. Because when you think about a miracle, it's things that you're like, oh, this can't happen or this shouldn't have happened. How did the cancer just disappear? How, how are you alive today? Like, my uncle right now, my Uncle Arthur that my parents are taking care of, he should have died. And he probably should have died years ago. But because of the grace of God, and not even, like, my uncle doesn't even, he's not the kind of person that really even believes in God like that. But because there are people praying for him, because even his mother was a praying woman, which was my great-grandmother, because my Uncle Arthur is my great-uncle. But, uh oh, let's be a little just here. Sorry, uh, I almost splash painted myself. I'm sorry. Um, but just my uncle Arthur not even truly believing, like, in where his healing came from. He had a heart aneurysm or something out of nowhere and but it didn't burst or something I'm not sure all the medical terms so y'all forgive me all I know is the doctor said that he should have died he should have died this was some years ago now my mom is still caring for him my uncle Arthur was on hospice and back in 2017 when he was here uh, he was here in Illinois and I was going to care for him he was at one of the nursing homes and he was he was doing okay but not he was still on hospice so my mom comes to get him and moves him out there with her uh, my mom lives in Iowa my uncle Arthur is no longer on hospice he's doing so much better than what he was doing but in an instant he was supposed to die. That's a miracle. When things happen in life and man says, key word, man says, well, this is supposed to happen or this is the way how this usually goes, eh -eh, you don't have the final say. If that land is supposed to be my land and I'm going to build my home there, and God has said yes, well, you better just hand over the keys and get the team together to start building because it's for me. It doesn't matter what God has said. So when I go back to my point of God setting you up for a miracle, to be that miracle, everything around you has to be wrong. It has to look, it has to look wrong. You have to have no money in your bank account to do this. <laughs> you have to be laughed at and talked about. You have to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches like uh, when you were in school or daycare or whatever. You have to do projects and work and serve even if you're not being paid for it. If it is something that God is telling you to do, you have to be obedient. I am not saying that this is the end of my storm. I'm not even saying that it's going to be easy from here on out. But I know that the word that God has given me to just start, I'm going to hold that in my heart. I'm going to hold that dear to me every day. Because I believe that that is what God has just given to me to keep going.
That's the fuel of grace that God has given to me to not give up. That is the fuel that God has given to me to just start, to get up out the bed, brush my teeth, do my hair, put on some pretty clothes, or if I don't feel like I want to put on pretty clothes, get up and just put some clothes on. Go for a prayer walk. Go to the store, to the mall, and just look around. Or even go to the art store. Even if you don't want to go to the art store, or for me, it's art store. Just just go. And watch your spirits be lifted. Watch your whole mood change. And sometimes, you just smile. Because I said, as I said earlier before, All things are working together for the good of those who love Christ. Now, it's not going to just work for you if you don't love Jesus. And that's biblical. Read the word. If you are wicked and you are not doing what you know you should be doing, following the word of God, and you know that there's some things in your life that you know isn't right, then no, things are not going to work for your good because you're not doing good (laughs) but what I will say and this is grace is that you know you aren't doing good and you're doing things that are wrong and people are praying for you I know that the prayers of the righteous availeth much and that is living word truth because that's how my uncle Arthur is alive today (laughs) I love you all I, I'm going to ask y'all to stay on my butt to do this more because before I decided to go live and decided to take God's advice and just start and just get up and just do something, I was honestly not knowing what I was about to do. My husband's got a guitar lesson and... He's got a choir a rehearsal at the church because he's the worship leader there, worship leader and director. And I'm like, Lord, what am I going to do? Because my husband, he's going to be gone pretty much all day, and I'm just here. What are my directions today? He said, I gave them to you last night. Just start. And here I am. And I'm not done with this. Maybe I will stay on here. Usually I'll end my videos and not finish my painting and sometimes I forget to post the finished painting. Um, I'm just going to paint now. If you want to continue watching, fine, enjoy it. Listen to the soaking music that you hear behind, uh, you know, playing. This is actually Dappy T. Key's Piano Worship on YouTube. Amazing channel. And the scripture that's up here right now. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. That's perfect for this video. I love this channel. That's Dappy T. Key's Piano Worship on YouTube. So I'm just going to continue painting and finishing and you can watch. Um, but once this video ends, if you came in at the end, you can rewatch the video for the word part or to see how I even started all this beautiful painting here. This is really pretty. It's vibrant. Look at that. This represents my passion. I like that. But I'm just going to continue painting and I'm just going to stay on here and let you guys just continue watching. Hi, Kenya. Hi, Candice. Okay, so let me... Sorry, my head is in the way. Sorry, my husband just came in here. (laughs) You right. You right. And I always look for God's confirmation. I really do. And everything. Look for God's confirmation because... I, I, well, I just want to be sure it was God. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying, you know, I just 
I always look for God's confirmation in things. I believe God's confirmation brings peace to your soul. to be able to see what I'm painting. Let's see. We'll turn this around. Oh, maybe not. Well, that's what I have so far. It looks like a bouquet of flowers almost. And I'm shooting things up. Maybe this will just be an abstract painting. I've been doing a lot of those lately. Oh. What did I press? Whoops. Okay. Zoom in. I can zoom in. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Thank you all for, for your support and me listening to God and just starting and showing me that even more so that I'm not alone in this and that there are people as well. They may struggle with the same thing. I'm sorry. When I get to in the zone, I just get to going. I know that we're not alone. Anything that we deal with, even people that look like they have it all together, they deal with stuff too. They might not share it. I'm honestly not sure why I'm so open about sharing with, you know, maybe maybe that's a gift in itself of not being ashamed to share my story while I'm in the middle of it. But I really think it's important that we do share our story because there are other people that are asking the same questions and wondering, well, how are you making it through? Well, this is how I fight my battles. This is how I get through. I grab my paintbrush in this canvas and I sit in the presence of God sometimes I don't even have my painting stuff sometimes it's just me and God but that's truly honestly what it is not sure if you guys can see this actually what I'm adding in here but it's like a bronze and a gold color show you guys when I'm finished too how it actually looks because I'm almost finished with this I think <laughs> but this is a gold that I'm actually brushing on here right now a gold and a bronze color Well now, um, <clears throat> uh, I have a little bit of orange and a little bit of that pretty purple left. I might add it in here a little bit. Let's see. Where is that paint knife? Oh no! I just broke my paint knife! 
who is this? It says you. Thank you. I'm familiar with yeah, Natasha. She's amazing. Oh. I just broke my paint. <laughs> I just got this. Now let me tell you something. What I said earlier about what the world says about certain things, this is supposed to be a professional, very good paint knife. I've been using plastic ones for at least two years now. They've never broken on me. But what man says is that these are better, get your professional one, and it'll last forever. I just got this, y'all. This is actually my second time using it. The first time I used it was last night. This painting is the second time I used it. It broke. Man's word is broken, but God's word is not. Let me write that down. Man's word is broken, but God's word is not. I need a pen. husband I got no pens here's a pen okay or I'm actually gonna put it in here so I can type in here okay God's whoops Let's see. Um, I am going to end here to get the camera all in my face. This is where I end it for now. If you can see it, this is where I've ended. The camera's a little blurry. Come on camera. I just please. This is beautiful. You probably can see the gold now that I painted in there. This is beautiful. I love it. Um, it's abstract. I love you all. I will post a picture of the final piece. As I said before, I don't know if anybody's still watching now, but you may rewatch the video, share with someone or that you might think would love this. Um, I will post a picture of the finished piece. I love it so far. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me and encouraging me. And I hope that I can be a good friend to you all and support you and encourage you as well. Um, if it is on your heart, to donate or support or to share with someone what I'm doing. Um, I would love you share to share that. But if you want to just give or anything, I do have a PayPal and a Cash App. And Cash App is I'm Paint Parties. And PayPal is paypal.me slash Jaleesa C. I love you all. Have a beautiful day.